very simply, one can first say that whenever somebody has the right to something, there must be somebody who has a duty to help realize that right. In the terms of the state, uh, or rather states, uh, member states of the UN that have ratified the convention with uh, any given right, in this, in this case, uh, Convention on Economic uh, or Covenant on Economic, Social and Cultural Rights, um, they, um, uh, they are obliged to um, do things People think that the right and the obligation of the state is to feed people. Of course it is not. And that is a total misunderstanding. Uh, we can think of uh, the, the level of the three levels of state engagement, as is laid down also in the general comment number 12. I, the first is that the state must respect people's rights, and if they are happy with how they are doing and getting their, their, their food, either through production or procurement and everything is fine, of course then there's no reason for the state to do anything. But then next level is that the state must protect these ways of doing things to get, get, to get food um, and protect against, um, we often say third parties, uh, uh, some agent, some, some, some actor, uh, that uh, can interfere with these uh, ways of, uh, of, of accessing food. And uh, the third level, we say, this is to, to help fulfill the right. But even that is split up between uh, the constructive facilitation of, to facilitate, do, help people do even better what they already do, or in new ways if need be, uh, and uh, only at the last resort, when, when, when people have no means, they have no assets, uh, they are so destitute that they would die if they were not fed, then the state must also provide directly. And this framework is very, very important to understand because these misunderstandings of uh, that the, the state should feed people is so so common and that's why it easily is sort of resisted.